G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to do a backlink gap analysis. Let's jump into it. So as you can see here, I've utilized the search query Electrician Miami. So just south of Fort Lauderdale for me. Now with this keyword, what we're going to do is a backlink gap analysis. We're going to grab a website and you can just walk along as if this was your website and a specific search term that you're looking to rank for. So what is a backlink gap analysis? Essentially, all the backlink gap analysis is, is where we're looking at your competitors, the links that they have pointing into their site, we're trying to match what they have because that will get you into the knowledge, link graph, whatever you want to call it, something that Google will relate and notice that if you have a link from this website, it means that you talk about these things such as being an electrician. So let me just show you a little bit of an example. So check this out. This is essentially what the link graph is or why it's important because you want to understand what it is that you're going after when you're performing a backlink gap analysis. So here's some great stuff I was showing a client before. So that's, uh, let's get rid of that because that is not what we need to see. Let's get rid of all of this. Okay, do, 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 clean that up. Beautiful, done. Okay, so if you're going to do a, let's just say this is your website. So this is your website right here, your website. But then these are your competitors' websites, okay? So competitor, competitor, and competitor. Okay, so these are all competitors' websites. Now, let's say you are looking to rank for the term Electrician Miami. It is not just content. It is not just bank links that's going to achieve that top position. In this video, I must stress all we're looking at is a backlink gap analysis. I'm only going to show you how to perform one. So if you don't know what one is, let's just say this is the World Wide Web. Now, if your competitors have all of these backlinks coming in, so they're coming in from specific websites, from similar locations, he's got one, she's got one, they're all coming in and they're all tying in and these are all other your competitors. So whether you are an electrician, if you don't have any of these links, Google, you might have great content, but Google might, may not be aware of what you actually are or what you're trying to rank for. So you need to help Google understand, this is what I'm about. Mr. Google, this is me. This is what I talk about. This is what I do. That's why trying to be a part of this link graph, knowledge graph, whatever you want to call it, being a part of this is critically important. Because if you can also start to get these types of links, what happens is Google, whatever they're ranking for over here for your competitors, Google will start to associate you for that keyword as well. So not only will you get that boost, but you can actually push them out. So you'll become more important. You'll have the authority. And that's what a backlink gap analysis is. What we're going to do is we're going to ascertain what backlinks these guys have and we don't have. That's what we're going to uh, perform. And that's why it's important that you do a backlink gap analysis for your website and for any campaign that you're looking to run. So you can follow me along. You can pretend that this is your website, whatever you want to do. This is just random. I'm grabbing absolutely like random dudes. And we're just going to scroll down and let's just pretend that this is your website. So Miami Electric Masters. Okay, let's grab this. So this is going to be the website that we utilize. Let's just check it out make sure it's actually relevant for the keyword because I don't want to show you guys something that's not really appropriate to utilize. So it's taking a long time to load. I'm probably not going to be able to use this. Yeah, it's too slow. That's not working for us. Let's grab these guys. It's interesting phone number in the uh, title. That's an interesting one. Okay. So we've got these guys. Let's utilize this. This is going to be the uh, site that we're not affiliated, not got nothing to do with these guys. This is just a completely random site. So what you would do when you are in SEMrush, we're going to utilize SEMrush. I love SEMrush. Talk about it all the time. I explained why I like this over Ahrefs. Yeah, that's in another video if you want to go and check it out, but I use SEMrush. That's what we use in my agency. So just put it in and you can just get a quick overview. Now you can see traffic fluctuation. So 
maybe they've been doing some SEO, maybe some branded stuff, uh, some perhaps other digital marketing means like utilizing social ads to get this uh, type of volume. But as you can see right here, the traffic's pricking up. So that's pretty cool. So you want to have a look at that before you perform your backlink gap analysis. See the total vo uh, volume of backlinks that they have. So have a look at that. But as you come over here in the left-hand column, you can see this backlink gap right here. So you click on this. And now this is going to have our main domain. So we want to hit this main domain. Now you can utilize the routes I would highly suggest this especially if you are a local business if you're going after something extremely competitive you might be better off focusing more so on specific pages or categories depending upon what you're going after so the bigger it is maybe focus down a little bit more but if it's something just like a miami electrician perhaps it's better off just focusing on the domain the straight route so let's grab some of the competitors we don't want to grab people below us we want to grab people higher up so as an example, let's grab number one, let's grab him. Uh, we don't want the directories. We don't uh, want any of that. And you should be able to pull these out, uh, push these guys out too. If you get the right backlink profile, if you have better content, like these guys don't stand a chance. Uh, let's have a look at these guys. And wizards, all right. So we're gonna grab no idea why my Google's so slow. Ever since that Google update, like that Chrome update, it's been absolutely atrocious. So as you can see here, I can just grab the root. I don't want to grab the additional noise. Obviously, this is a huge uh, website. I'll look at that. Grab the wizards. Okay. So you want to place in all of the prospects, the, your competitors that you're going after. So we're trying to ascertain, like in this example right here, we're trying to figure out what links these guys have so we can get them sent over to our website. That's what we're trying to achieve. All right, let's come back over here and let's check this out. So my buff head's going to be in the way a little bit, so I'll try and duck out of here if I possibly can. But as you can see, we've got everything up here. So here's our competitors. Now, this is where it gets really, really interesting. And this is why I love the SEMrush backlink gap analysis tool. Because when I use SEMrush to perform backlink uh, gap analysis, it's awesome because of this. Like, I love the matches. It's sick. This is where you can start to really try and focus your efforts. Because you can start to see, it will tell you from let's say a specific link, how many of your competitors have this link and from how many times they have this link. So as an example, this matches right here, the total number of anal analyzed domains that have this referring domain linking to it. So this domain right here is linking across to all of my competitors. This guy, it's, it's doing it 12 times. So we can try and have a look and figure out the 12 times what he's got, okay. So that's very, very interesting that he's got all of this sent across. Hmm, very interesting. So we don't have that. So what we want to do is we want to go across and have a look. Is it possible for us to maybe build this link? Is it a real link? Should we be building this? Is it worth our while? Hmm, maybe not. It looks like it's probably just a, uh, you know, a, a basic convert file, simple, simple thing. But as you start to come down, it might be better to look at this one, US contractors near me.com. Our competitors have it, but we don't have it. That seems like it'd be a lot more relevant to our business than probably this one. Now, am I saying to not go after this? No, but you would need to do your due diligence and actually research and make sure that this is a good link. It's worth your time building this link compared to sticking with something that's like this, it's probably more relevant. So when you are doing your backlink gap analysis, ensure that you make sure you're spending your time on something that's actually relevant. So yeah, this is something that I would look, huge website, huge website, massive. Not too much traffic, but as an example, all of our competitors have it. So everyone that is above us 
has this link. So that immediately tells me right there that it's it's something that we should build. So what you can do, and this is again why I love SEMrush, is you can come over here and export the data. So export it via CSV. Now we'll normally upload the data uh, onto a Google Sheet. We just do that because my team's spread all around. So everyone can come in, have a look at the documentation that we have, and it's all right there. Not everyone needs to sit there on SEMrush trying to figure it all out and move it around. No, once we upload this from the get-go with a customer that we have, we start to tear it apart that way on the actual Google Sheet. So let me show you how to upload a backlink gap analysis into a Google Sheet. So we can go import. And then we can go upload drag this into here, drop this into here, and now this will start uploading the information. Uh, replace current sheet, import data. Beautiful, there we go. So let's get rid of this. So as you can see, you have all of the domains here. So this is obviously us, this is our guy right here. Oh, this yellow just so we know for sure but you can start to see what they've got what we don't what we don't have now the only problem that we have here is that you can't do a little bit of extra research right here where it's got the monthly visits uh and the matches like the authority score it is here but it's shown as i believe it's domain ratings or something oh, no it is domain a score so authority score it's not Great, it's not bad, but I don't know how I feel, to be honest, with the authority score from SEMrush. I'm, it's debatable for me, but ultimately what you can do when you are looking at all of this information is anything with a three, you have to go and look because that's telling me that all three of your competitors that rank higher than you have this backlink from this domain. So that immediately would tell me as an SEO guy, I need to go out and actually research these backlinks and see if it's worthwhile building for my customer. That's what you'll need to do. And that's where a backlink gap analysis is really, really powerful. So you would want to make sure you can filter out the, the ones. So let's just say as an example, like let's scroll all the way further down and let's find some ones. So as an example, this is you right here, but only one of your competitor, which is this guy right here, has links from these locations. Now, if your competitor has this link, like this guy has it 16 times from this exact link, might not be really worth putting in your time, might be a little bit spammy. This is where you would start to have to really filter this stuff out. But anything that's three, two, you've gotta you've gotta have you've gotta take the time to look into it. Anything that's three and two, where there's two of your competitors that have this specific link. Remember, you're trying to get into this. You're trying to get into this section right here. I know it's awfully messy. I apologize for that. But all of these links that have been sent out from other sites, Google saying, okay, well, these are all about Miami Electrician. This is what it's coming to. This is the type of link someone that has a piece of content on an electrician Miami should have. So if we're on the outside like we were before and we aren't a part of this party going on in here, Google's not going to relate to us and connect the dots that we are an electrician in Miami. So that's something to consider. So when you are doing your backlink building, you can make sure that you're analyzing start. What I would do is just start with the highest numbers. If you analyze five people and your five competitors, you know, all of them have this link, you've got to go get that link. If four of them have it, you've got to go get that link. Two of them have it, three of them, two of them. You've got to go get that link. You've got to start building those links because the likelihood that those links will give you more power is more likely. That's why they have them. But as you start to move down into the ones like I displayed before, use, use your, I guess you would say, your intuition when it comes to building those types of links because they're not necessarily as powerful or as potent because your other competitors don't have them. Start with the highest numbers. Look at all of your competitors, see what backlinks they have. They're the ones that you go after. If you also want to check out some more videos on how to analyze backlink, your competitors' backlinks and how to actually go after them 
in more detail. I will link a video down below up above and make sure if you've enjoyed this video, I've taught you how to, how to do a backlink gap analysis. If you've liked it, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more stuff, subscribe. I hope I've helped you out today. I hope you have a lovely day. Cheers.